Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we will see how to install the Istio service mesh in your Kubernetes cluster using Istio CTL. So I've done I think five or six videos around Istio CTL and uh, when I was doing those videos the way that I used to install Istio service mesh is using um, Helm. Uh, but since we moved to Helm 3 I don't think Istio uh, is supporting the Helm 3 method of installation. So there is this Istio CTL method of installation which is actually recommended. So if I go to uh, install Istio CTL, there are a few options. Istio setup, um, install, and here uh, you can use installation with Istio CTL method or using the uh, Helm method. So in all my videos around Istio CTL, I used this method, customizable install with Helm. And if you go to that link, uh, it says the Helm installation approach will be deprecated in the future. We recommend installing with Istio CTL. So that uh, caught my attention and I just wanted to give it a try um, how it's going to be using Istio CTL to install uh, the Istio service mesh. So I've played with that. I think I'm quite confident with how to install Istio CTL and uh, Istio itself using Istio CTL. It's quite simple. It's actually simpler than using Helm. Okay, so for that we are going to download. Uh, let's go to installing with Istio CTL. First we need to grab the Istio CTL binary and prerequisite is download the Istio release. So I'm going to copy this command copy and paste it okay so that's getting downloaded and we don't need these uh, anymore I'm going to close the browser okay so where is it uh, which Istio CTL no nope. okay so CD to Istio and then CD to bin directory in here you find the Istio binary I'm going to move this uh, binary to user local bin sudo move istio ctl to user local bin okay so which istio ctl we've got istio ctl if i look at istio ctl version I'm running version 1.4.2. I think when I was doing all those previous Istio related videos, the version was 1.3.2, I think. Okay, so now it's 1.4.2 and now we are going to use Istio CTL to uh, install Istio. Okay, so um, I've got my Kubernetes cluster ready. kubectl um, get nodes. So I'm on version 1.17.0, one master node and two worker nodes kubectl get namespace forget ignore this operations namespace uh, that's from my previous video and it's uh, I don't know why it's stuck in uh, terminating okay so how to install Istio CTL so before installing it's good to verify whether your Kubernetes cluster is suitable for Istio installation so you can do Istio CTL verify install okay so it, it has done some checks whether the Kubernetes API is accessible. What version of Kubernetes we are running? Is that compatible with the Istio that we are going to install? Uh, is there Istio uh, exist already? Or Kubernetes setup? Can it deploy all these um, resources into your Kubernetes cluster? And all those. So it says all the pre-checks have been passed and our Kubernetes cluster is ready for the Istio installation. Okay, so that's cool. And how would you install Istio now? Istio CDL profile list. So there are these default profiles available for you during the installation. So there is default profile, demo profile, minimal, remote SDS. So basically when you install Istio service mesh using Istio CTL, you're gonna pick up one of these profiles. Uh, profiles are basically uh, like what features you want to enable in Istio. So there are like lots of components, right? So depending on which profile you choose, uh, it installs certain features of Istio. So uh, according to the documentation, go with the demo. Um, but if you're in production, go with the default and then choose your features, whatever you want. But if you want to just verify all the features of Istio just for learning purpose, then go with the demo profile because that demo profile comes with all the features uh, enabled. 
So Istio, CDL, and to apply the profile, you have to do Istio, CDL, manifest, apply, minus, minus, set, profile equals demo. That's it. So that is going to um, install Istio with the selected profile. Let's see what it's going to do. Okay, cube CDL get namespace. We don't have any namespace other than the default ones. Um, ignore the operations namespace. Okay, the command to install is istio CDL manifest apply minus minus set, and you are setting the profile to demo. That will install the istio with all the features. Okay, cool. So you can see preparing manifest for these components: Prometheus, Citadel, Base, Grafana, Prometheus Operator, Core DNS, CNI Injector, and all those things. And now, if I do kubectl git namespace, you can see the Istio system namespace. Watch minus x kubectl minus n Istio system get pods. All right, so containers are getting created for all these individual components. So we've got Kiali, we've got Prometheus, Grafana, and everything. And I will also show you how to access the Kiali dashboard or Prometheus or Grafana using simple uh, Istio CTL commands. All right, so let's wait for it. I'm going to pause the video and come back when all these components have been deployed. All right, so all the components have been installed successfully. Fine, okay, so how do you verify whether the Istio has been installed successfully in your Kubernetes cluster? So for that, um, what you can do is you can generate a manifest file using uh, the install command. So what we did was Istio CTL manifest apply. So we did this command to install, but if you were to generate a manifest, set of manifest without installing Istio, what you can do is Istio CDL manifest generate. So if you just do that instead of applying uh, the actual manifest to your Kubernetes cluster, it will just uh, generate the um, set of manifest. If I do that, you can see uh, these are the manifest that it will uh, deploy to your Kubernetes cluster. So what you can do now is just redirect that to temp whatever your file is, istio.yaml for example, and now you can pass this file to verify install option istio ctl verify install minus f and this file and that will tell you whether istio ctl, istio CTL components have been installed um, in your cluster okay so it's doing all these checks to see um, so it is doing some checks for crds it's verifying that 23 custom resource definitions, nine Istio deployments are all installed and they are healthy. Okay, so Istio is installed successfully. That's cool. All right, so Istio CTL, if you want to access um, the Kiali dashboard, Istio CTL dashboard. If you just do Istio CTL dashboard, it will show you the help commands, help output. The available commands are Envoy, Grafana, Jigger, Kiali, Prometheus, Zipkin, depending on what components we have installed. So we've got Prometheus, Kiali, Grafana. Let's uh, take a look at them one by one. Okay, so Istio CTL dashboard Kiali. Okay, so that's opening up the Kiali dashboard for us. Cool. The username is admin and the password is admin. Login. Cool, so that's our Kiali dashboard. That's looking good. And close this. And now you can do Istio CTL dashboard Grafana. Okay, so that's Grafana logging in. And uh, that is already, there are dashboards already configured for us. Istio, if I look at Istio performance dashboard, for example, no data. Okay, so there are some data. Yeah, there are data here. Let's look at some other example. Istio performance dashboard, Istio, what else? Istio mesh dashboard, no data. Okay, let's check some other charts. Istio Galley dashboard. Yeah, there are a few um, metrics coming through. Okay, 
so close that what else we've got is toctl dashboard zipkin zeger uh, prometheus let's check out prometheus is toctl dashboard prometheus cool so that's prometheus status targets okay so those are the targets registered citadel envoy stats galley istio mesh policy telemetry kubernetes api servers and okay so that's um what is it prometheus what else have we got Zeger, I don't know what Zeger Zipkin are, but let's try and see if we can access them. Istio CDL dashboard Zeger. Okay. Cool. So that's Zeger. I don't know what it is, and I haven't played around with it. Let's see. Zipkin. Zipkin. Okay. No Zipkin pods found. Okay. Maybe that feature not enabled. All right. Cool. So that's um istio ctl in installing the istio service mesh using istio ctl the recommended way and what if you want to uninstall istio ctl watch minus x cube ctl minus n istio system get pods and what you can do is the same manifest that we generated we can use that to delete all the resources related to istio that we deployed so temp istio.yaml so that's the file that we generated using this command istio ctl manifest generate so that's the command that contains all the manifests for the istio installation so now we can use the same manifest file to delete all the components that we've deployed kubectl delete minus f temp istio.yaml cool as you can see here it is deleting all the resources cluster role binding role deployments config maps a whole lot of uh, things that it is deleting okay kubectl get namespace istio system namespace is getting terminated cool all right so that's all i wanted to show you in this video it's just another approach uh, another way of installing istio service mesh in your kubernetes cluster but this is the recommended proper way to install Istio CDL. And try this out. If you've got any questions, let me know. I will be happy to help you. Until then, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.